Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you a simple way how you can add age verification to your Shopify website. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on the link. When you will do it, you'll get on this site called L-Site. L-Site is an amazing company with all the widgets and one of the widgets they make uh, is age verification. So let's click sign up for free. Now we want to sign with a Gmail, Facebook or normal mail. It's up to you. And when you got it, click login. Right here, you're going to see applications and in search, you want to write YouTube. Not YouTube, but age verification, sorry. I'm making YouTube videos, so it's all messed up in my head right now. So age verification, let's create a widget. Now you want to simply like choose which one you actually want to use, like for wine, default, or I don't know, beer. I'm going to choose with the default, continue with the template. Now minimum age, you can go like 21. And now you can remember visitor for 30 days. Underage action. You are not allowed. Where to display? Yes to no. Content. I'm over 21. Let's change that. I'm under 21. Okay. And you can also change the style. Let's click save for now. And now when you're going to start out, when you're going to have 200 views, go with the light version. But if you're going to have 5,050 or 500 views, you're going to have basic pro enterprise version. Let's copy the code here. And right now when you got it, you need to go to your Shopify website, online store, bean themes, click on actions, now edit code. Let's wait here. Click on theme liquid and theme liquid. You want to press control F, write template or like find this body class template and paste the code under it and let's click save. Now, what you want to do is just simply preview the website and voila, here we got the age verification. And this is pretty much it how we do it. So I'm just going to click, I'm over 21 and it's not going to show for like for the next 30 days. But if I go to incognito mode, oh, it's coming soon, it's in edit mode. So if you would go to, edit, uh, or to incognito mode with your website, you would actually see that it's going to ask you again because it's like a new view or a new customer. And this is pretty much it how you do it. I definitely recommend check all the other applications in L site because they have also like all pa apps back here that you can buy. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So thank you very much. Have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.